Or back here in Lagos, the government says the proposed fourth mainland bridge will cost a whopping sum of $2.5 billion and will be completed within four years. Special Advisor to the Governor on Works, Aramide Adeyoye, announced these at the joint press briefing organized by the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure and the Office of the Public-Private Partnership. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikukoyedokun reports that the preferred bidder for the project was also announced. The fourth Milan Bridge is a proposed 38-kilometer long bridge initiative by the Lagos State Government. It connects Lagos Island by way of Leki, Langbasa, and Bayeku towns and across Lagos Lagoon to Itamaga in Ikorodu. Engineer Aramide Adeyoye is a special advisor to Sawunlu on works and infrastructure. She discloses that the fourth Milan Bridge would remove gridlock on the Keta Eko and Third Milan Bridge and open up the state for future developments. I recollect in 2019 when Mr. Governor said this thing has been on the drawing board for the last 20 years. Um, it's not the first time that everybody is talking about what we now need. What exactly are we going to do that will ensure that we can actually get this project to start? And one of the things clearly was investor confidence, trust, transparency. So the two T's for me, they're essential ingredients for success. Investor confidence of trust, and transparency. And so I'm happy today that, like I said, after 1,129 days, we can all come here, still alive, and be getting to a closure on this. In the area of payment of compensation to owners of affected structures, Adeyoye said there is a framework for the payment while assuring that all affected individuals will be adequately compensated. She urged Lagosians to have confidence in the administration of Governor Babajide Sawunlu to deliver on its developmental promises. The estimated cost of construction is estimated to be about $200 million. A lot of people have asked, why is it that we are not? For now, it looks like it's the FDIs that will work until when the consortium and then the bonds, the LDIs begin to come, we begin to have trust and confidence in ourselves that even our, our, our HNIs, our high net worth individuals, and groups who begin to see uh, infrastructure provision as, an, as a way of improving uh, the lots in the, in the country. Okwai George is special advisor to Governor Sawunlu on public private partnership. His father spoke on how the preferred bidder was arrived out. We had various bidder conferences and various uh, uh, stakeholder engagements to ensure that we, we managed to get things right. And it's, it's one of the things we'd like to stress here that, you know, for the first time in, in a while, this is the first time one of the projects where, you know, the processes, I think one should look to the processes, processes have been done to one class standards to which we're very proud of, in the sense that everything was done properly, meticulously. We looked at proper financial models, so we understood what the costs were, we understood the ratios, the analysis, everything. The construction of the fourth Milan Bridge will commence in the first quarter of 2023. Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News.